travel hacking, travel secrets, travel tips. Seven travel tip secrets you've never, what else you, has ever YouTube video? In our four years of travel, we've shared that life on the road isn't all staged photos and slow motion twirls. We're Tim and Finn, and whether we're stuck in the mud, stuck in the rain, or stuck at the border, we're sharing the unfiltered reality of it all. Subscribe to join the adventure on trip. We have a couple of credit cards that we love. This entire journey from O'Hare all the way to Chaiman, China. Granted, now we had to pay for our flight after the Chinese visa debacle. Um, but originally, it was all a free flight just on points. And then at the end of this entire trip, on the way back from Seoul, we booked that with points. You know, that's like a $1,000 ticket that we bought on points. Travel for free. So A, airline points are great. B, we also have lounge access to over 1,500 worldwide lounges, and that is through something called Priority Pass. That gets you into several different lounges. Now that is something that you can just purchase, but with one of our credit cards, we have access to that Priority Pass. So we've had you know alcohol, meals, everything included, and just a quiet place to get away from the busy airport in all these different lounges along the way. So that has been almost completely invaluable already. Lounge pass for free. Now, if you're watching from outside the States, I know you guys don't have so many things available to you, so uh, I'm just not an expert in that area. Uh, in the States, we just have all of these credit card incentives. So, of course, you know, this is only advantageous to you if you pay your credit card bill on time every month and that you are not paying interest on your credit card debt. Um, the ones that we're specifically using is the Chase Sapphire. Just the sign up bonus on that could get you all the way to Asia and also give you priority pass access. Um, same with that specific sign up, you get a $100 credit and we both have access now to global entry which includes TSA pre-check which has a, a fee to sign up for. So not a plug for that card necessarily, but that is a great place to get started. Um, so I thought I'd share a little bit about how we're able to use all these lounges and a little bit behind the scenes, the fact that this is a free flight all the way to Asia. If you would like to hear more travel hacking. Travel hacksers. Let me know in the comments, like sometimes we just get a little goofy on <laughs> this. 
channel of ours and we're not sharing so much, you know, like info, but we can actually like share useful content. Okay, off to um, our Shyman flight. Why don't you go sit with our staff so it doesn't get YouTube stolen? YouTube travel tip trip for free. Travel turtles again. Here we go again. This side. Before we even get on this flight, and the great thing is we don't use the footage in case we're wrong so that we're always right. This is probably the flight where anything most, can happen. Anything can happen at least. Well, we're just interested to see the crowd on the Bangkok Shimen flight. Perfect. Okay, yeah, we did it. It's like laughing. I cannot believe we're getting on another plane. Like, <laughs> I just, this is all we do now. We're not even going anywhere. We're just gonna like go back now to North America. Just circling, circling Earth. <laughs> Get those miles. I know. I can't believe it. <laughs> Travel secret. <laughs> Always book if you're traveling in a party. Yeah. I feel like it just it works really well. Though. Yeah, Thank no, you. people people know about this, but this is the second flight in a row where we've booked the window and the aisle and had nobody in between us. So secret or no secret, it uh, it works pretty well. Except for when uh, it's more common in the U.S. now where they just auto-book you and so you might have a person that didn't even select their middle seat that that was auto-booked there, but at least for these... <laughs> but I mean, worst case scenario, somebody is going to be more than willing to move from their middle seat to the aisle. Nobody's going to refuse that. Did we even say the last flight was so empty that we each had our own um, row? We, we get moved around, had our own row to sleep, and then this flight's empty too. Maybe Tim will go over to that. <laughs> row and go to bed on this flight. It's only three and a half hours. And then we'll I don't even know what it's going to be like to be at a destination because all we do is fly. little hotel room thing what? is it this this goes along with my long-standing theory that Wait, the nicer that? the hotel room the less privacy you have on the toilet <laughs> 